Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Rafael that is a Redmi K20 Pro. Now, today we are talking about a ROM about which we have not spoken about quite often. So we are looking at Cherish OS right now. The version is 2.7. I've been using it on the K20 Pro since the last two to three days. So more or less, this is a complete review. And luckily I got up early in the morning. So I do have the benchmark numbers available as well. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where we have more than a thousand members talking to each other, chatting with each other and helping each other. So you can join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so what do we have here? Cherish OS version 2.7 official based on Android 11 updated on the 11th of July, 2021. Now it does say that it comes in 1.3 gigabyte and 1.8 gigabytes of variants. The notes are always make a NAND backup be safe based on OSS vendor and Soviet kernel. Now, when you talk about Soviet kernel for the K20 Pro, you would know that there would be excellent performance. That is what Soviet kernel is known for. All right, now let's have a look at the device change log because that is what is important to us because most of the time the source change log is pretty, pretty long. So it does say uh, added FPS style, added some translations in Xiaomi parts, added Super Mario and Star Wars pop-up sounds. That's great. Fixed screen off FOD after notification, established proper fingerprint location, Show SE Linux Terrace in about phone, updated kernel to Soviet Star 4.14.238, launcher 3 as default launcher on vanilla build, pixel and launcher on gapps build, clean flash recommended. Now those are all the changes and a couple of funny things I did observe but I will take you through the ROM first because this is a complete review and then we can talk about the funny things that I experienced. Now when you, this is a gapps build that I had flashed. So when you boot for the first time, you are greeted with this pixel-esque look. From the top to the bottom, you have a very, very basic custom ROM type of look. And if you added the notification tiles or the quick tiles, well, you have a ton of options. I can definitely tell you that you have so many options. You have the FPS style, which is working fine. You have screen record and stuff like that. So over here, if you go to the screen recorder, there are a ton of options over here as well and you can use external and internal audio as well. So if you click on start, you get a timer over here and then the recording starts. Now, what you will notice is that even with the screen recorder on, that's, that's a common thing that I've experienced with Soviet kernel that you don't get any lags or jitters. That is a very, very good thing with this particular kernel. So when you have screen recording, you don't really have any problems. So if you're a PUBG player, you like making montages or you want screen recording for any other reason, well, this ROM has no problems at all. Now, if you press and hold over here and you go to home settings, right, about, it says version 11. So all the basic options that are available in launcher on a ESP ROM are present. Now to the left, you have the beautiful Google feed, which I really, really like. So, you know, when you talk about the face of the ROM, it definitely does the job pretty well. At the same time, you do have the screen recording over here, which you can share and you can edit it from your favorite editing application as well. There you go, you have screencast and all the other options. Let's have a look at the quick tiles. You have NFC, that is for the uh, Mi 90 Pro, not for this one. You do have gaming mode, you do have invert colors, data savers, kill app, reading mode, peak notifications, you can disable them while gaming, ambient notifications or ambient display, always on display. You have compass, CPU info, smart pixels, sound search and Android 11 feature there and you do have storage focus mode bedtime mode moto audio fps counter so you can go ahead and use the fps counter as well dc dimming is there high brightness mode is there so they've basically you know gone ahead and added a lot of features to be very very honest let's have a look at this oh yeah the high brightness mode definitely works dc dimming fps counter there yep there you go so the fps counter is working as well so pretty, pretty decent stuff there. Now let's go to about phone and let's have a look at the security patch and all the details because 
that is something that matters to a lot of us as well right now cherish os version 2.7 official 49 gigabytes available of 128 gb this is a redmi k20 pro android 11 account this is my email so if, if you have a look and you want to mail me that that's completely fine that's his channel email now moving on if you actually click on android version 11 you will see all the other information like the security patches this is july security patch and the kernel as i said earlier is the soviet star kernel if you keep tapping over here and if you do this once twice thrice there you go you have the cat game and let's see if we can catch any cat right so that's everything for the about info of this particular rom now what you will also see over here is that the layout of settings is a little different now that is the trend these days with custom roms you do have uh, roms which look slightly different from the other and they try to make them look make themselves look apart from the very very normal aosp builds so if you go to cherish settings over here you do see that the customization menu is extensive and they've laid it out pretty pretty nicely so you do have stuff like status bar quick settings thumb themes buttons animations lock screen power menu notifications miscellaneous right and if you go to the about section you have all the information that you will need to have about cherish os and status bar you do have these many options now, as i said when it comes to a custom roms i will not go through each and every customization option even though it is a complete review but i will give you a quick glance over here in each and every settings so if you want you can pause the video and you can make sure that the feature that you're looking for is present or not right because at times it does happen that a lot of people want a certain feature because of which they go to that particular custom rom uh, it has happened with me as well wow that's a lot of customization over here a lot of customization for the lock screen to be honest moving on to the power menu not much here then we have notifications a ton of customization over available over here as well and then we do have miscellaneous as well now something that i would like to discuss over here about cherish os for the redmi k20 pro or the mi 90 pro is that the smoothness is there the responsiveness is there the performance is there so for me it has definitely been a daily driver and if you come out of cherish settings you will notice that the icons look a little different compared to stock android 11 so they have you know gone ahead and tried to differentiate themselves from the very regular or a very normal rom that you have right so basically what i'm trying to say here is that the rom is smooth everything works as expected let me quickly go ahead and show you the safety net test now i do have magisk installed but safety net passes out of the box the drm info is absolutely fine so wildwine alvin should be working as well so you should not have any problems with your entertainment you should not have any problems with your banking applications and security right pretty much everything is taken care of it does come with a very very basic camera application so you will have to flash google camera i have not tried anx cam on this so let's quickly move on to the benchmark numbers real quick all right now this is the cpu throttle test okay in this you do see cpu throttle to 89 percent of its max performance and the average performance was 197 177 gips so that's pretty insane pretty good performance and over here if you have a look you do have geek bench as well 742 single core and 2505 multi core so pretty insane performance there as well now there are a couple of funny things that happened with me sometimes the front camera would give me errors stating you need to recalibrate the camera so once calibrated it worked just fine and sometimes the fod icon on the lock screen was disappearing like this whole morning today i had to actually go to fingerprint settings and then the fingerprint uh, you know icon came up but otherwise i have not had any problems with cherish os on the redmi k20 pro the battery charging is there the battery charging is pretty quick the battery backup is pretty insane as well so all in all this is an amazing rom it has some additional features as i mentioned in the change log you can definitely go ahead and give it a try i'm not able to try the gaming right now i will be back on the 22nd to mumbai and that's when we can talk about the gaming when we do live streams let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off keep smiling take care goodbye